Hey everyone, Kiro Style here. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we started the post game and we started collecting all the different plates that we were missing in the game. Volo, our dear friend, decided to help us out, gave us some clues. We went around and caught a bunch of extra legendary Pokemon that we didn't have before and received plates from them. We took them back to the temple ruins and Volo told us a little bit about Giratina and suggested that we take the plates to the Temple of Sinnoh. So now we are on our way to meet him. Like, I haven't fought Volo again in a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to fight him again. Well, that's an evil shot if I've ever seen one. Temple lies in ruins now, and columns cracked and broken like pillars now turn into spears. <gasps> Spear pillar! Haha! -ha! Stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm, is something bothering you? Yeah, your evil laugh. Ah, I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. <laughs> I've actually taken over Volo's body, and I'm actually evil! I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. You just said you want to remake the world. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer that question that I originally sought out Giratina, and I tear open that rift in space and time- What?! Wait, you created the rift by finding Giratina and it created the rift in time? That's a big truth bomb here, Volo. After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. Wait, do you have Giratina? Where's Giratina now? So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deity, just as murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates said to be fragments of the all-encompassing deity. Okay, eighteen. For some reason, I don't know why I thought there were only ten. Oh, you hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where is the last one? It's right here! Costume change! Costume change! Oh. Is he gonna be, like, irreconcilably evil? What the? Oh, your hair. Now hand over the plates you gathered. I will be the one to bring them all together. Oh my gosh. What? What is this appearance? My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. Wait, so... I thought you wanted to meet Giratina. Where is Giratina? Do you still have Giratina? What's up with Giratina? What was this talk about Giratina have to do with Arceus? What? Yeah, no, put your head back on. He looks dumb now. He looks like a figure skater or something. I must know what it is. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate his power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Somehow I'm going to beat him. He's going to reconcile. He's going to become good again. And he's just going to go back to his regular outfit. No one in Pokemon ever lives to suffer the consequences of their actions. And everything's all merry. What is his outfit, though? Honestly, he looks like he wants to be like a Greek ruler or something. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then the Hisui region we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. Oh dang, if he's a hard battle, I'd put away my, all my items. I'm gonna need my max revives again, won't I? If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice, even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Well, I'm gonna use my secret move. Oh. Pokemon wielder, Volo. I told you it was gonna be the champion or something. I thought I was gonna use my secret technique. Run away and restock. That's my secret technique. Oh, his, 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 his hair is so weird. Spiritome. How hard is he? Is he harder than Kamado? I hated that fight. Is he like level 80? Okay, 68, I can take this. Right, you don't have any weaknesses. Oh, that looks so weird. Spiritome in, in 3D is so weird. I thought you were like a, an orb. You're like a you're like a cone shape. That's so weird. This is so weird. He kind of reminds me of like his color palette. It's kind of like um Palutena from Kid Icarus. Diplosion, don't fall asleep on me. That's yeah, a toga party. Full restore your spirit home, seriously. Oh no, I'm weak to that! That was a bad idea. I think I'm gonna need to come back with more items. I don't think I can do this. Let's give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a nice 
monkeys. Mwah. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. I hate you, Spirit Home. No, I don't want a death counter for Typhlosion. Poor Typhlosion! Oh, you have a Hisuian Arcanine. What the heck? Oh, jeez, this is gonna hurt. Oh, jeez, and Scissor is weak against fire. Of course you bring him out. Oh, jeez. And... This is not good. I don't have any items. I'm gonna need items. I blame Heatran for all this. It's all Heatran's fault. Oh yes, I one-shot him. Nice. I mean, I might still be able to do this, I don't know. Oh yes, super effective. I should have used Agile style. Oh, jeez, why? Oh, jeez, I only have two Pokemon left. I'm gonna need to come back here with some revives. Let's brute force it, because he's higher level than me, obviously. I have good coverage, it's just his Pokemon just objectively stronger than mine. You have a Lucario? That's not fair. Oh, don't use Crunch. Okay, well this is this is Wash. I want a Lucario, what the heck? This is the only thing I can use and it's not even super effective. Oh, you survived. Oh, never mind. Oh dang. Lucario's so cool. I want a Lucario. Okay, at least I didn't lose any items, I guess. Fine, you can take over the world. Oh, he actually stays in his normal form. Does that mean I don't have to... Okay, I can use my secret ability. Run away. And sneak away. Goodbye. Oh, no, Mally, I don't want to talk to you. What the heck? Where's all my... Max revives. No, oh, I keep selecting that by accident. So expensive. I'll start the battle with Gallade, because he's the only one that knows a fairy attack, which is the only thing effective against Spirit Home, but then it's going to kill me, like, right away. <laughs> ah! Not fair! Yeah, as a punishment, they make you rewatch the whole cutscene, that would be real punishment. His outfit is so ugly, though. Man. You looked cooler in your ver merchant outfit, which is generic and shared by other Ginkgo people. I wonder how or if he's going to redeem himself. Or if he's just going to, like, fall back into the rift and then disappear forever. Round two, bucko. Now hand over the plates you gathered after you left and came back. I'll be the one to bring them all together. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be caned, blah blah blah. Which plate does he have, I wonder? I don't know which element I'm missing. You're gonna do this entire part of the cutscene. I'm not above force, but I will let you escape. Oh, 
also gives me the same vibes as like Yggdrasil from Tales of Symphonia. Just the way he composes himself. Okay, good. I can use Agile Style. Maybe they'll buy me a turn if I'm lucky. Oh no. Oh jeez, no, Gallade, I'm so sorry. I need something that's not Ghost. You don't know any fire, right? Oh yeah, you, in this game you don't get XP until you beat the entire lineup instead of the individual Pokemon. That is a little annoying. That was not bad. Ugh, full restore, really. Like, even attacks that aren't super effective, like, bring me down to such low HP. Bye, Scizor. I wish this music was a bit more epic, though. It's a little bit- Oh, I forgot. You're gonna send out Arcanine on him. Oh, you're gonna roast him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The Toxicroak can one-shot you, so that's... Fine, I guess. Oh, jeez. Yeah, hit me with the Psychic, yeah. Four times damage, yada yada yada. If I, if I strong style my Thunderbolt, do you think I'll kill it in one hit? I could use Thunder, but I'm afraid of it missing. Oh, dang it. Oh, he paralyzed. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Rotom, seriously? You got one shot. I have two Pokemon left already. I don't even have time to use items. What? Oh, I get another turn. Umbreon, please survive the next turn. I need to start using full restores. No, oh, he's getting bigger. Oh, Typhlosion's still around. Oh, I've, I, was, I just got so used to him already being dead. I hope I don't when I when I swap in. I don't hope, hope he doesn't just immediately die. I just need to get off a of flamethrower. Oh, I forgot you can use Crunch. Oh no. Ah! Seriously, why does every NPC have everything that's like the perfect matchup for me? Okay, Lucario doesn't know Psychic. There's no way he knows Psychic. Or Fire. Hey, this will be good, because Psychic's good against... Wait, no, but he knows, he knows Dark and Steel, so that's not... Or sorry, not... He knows Dark Attacks as well. Oh, freak of diggle. Still got three Pokemon left. Don't tell me I have to go back and actually train and come back. I'm gonna be angry. It's probably gonna kill me with a crunch. Actually, I don't know, with the fairy typing now, do I resist that? Oh come on! Ugh! Oh, oh, oh. Healed my Pokemon back up. I lost a max revive. Oh. 
training montage? Oh, I hate grinding. Ah. I hate grinding. I don't want a training arc. You know what I need? I need a money arc. I need a money. I need something that can do fairy attacks. That is not weak to spirit homes. Like ghost attacks. Okay, maybe, you know what? There are some side quests we need to do. Like, I need to catch... I need to catch Manaphy. I have no idea how to go about that. Because the Pokedex mission does not tell me. I thought I marked it. Where is it? Oh, I can only... I What? I can't mark a mission and a request? I can only do one of the two? That's so silly. Solve the mystery of the sea's legend. How do I do that? Ugh. Yeah, like I think I could win, it's just my Pokemon are all under level compared to his. The thing is, the Pokemon scaling for XP is so weird. Like, you fight things that are, like, a good level for you to fight, and it barely gives you something sometimes. Okay, it doesn't give me a marker for this quest. How do I do it? I want to at least get more quests done. Google-san. Google-san. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is Manaphy. Confirmed. Okay, get the quest. To, to begin, you'll need to add three specific Pokemon to your team. Weasel, Mantike, and Overquill. What? Okay, um... Make your way to Cobalt Coastlands during the evening. Head towards the two large spikes... Okay, this is such a weird quest. Okay. Weasel, Mantike, Overquill. How would I have figured this out? I mean, I think, according to this article, it's a reference to a quest from the original games. Blade, you finally moved up to slot 3. You're one of my favorites and it took you that long. Overquill. Oops. Mantike. Here's my Mantike. And Bweasel. So random. This level 14 schmuck. Okay, now I need to go back to the Cobalt Coastlands in the evening. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to fight multiple Pokemon. Like, I'm gonna, there's gonna be multiple Pokemon to catch and I might have to multi-fight them. With only three Pokemon, because my other ones are weak. Overquill looks like Hulk from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm not familiar with Jojo, I'll just take your word on that. Uh, evening. Maybe after I do this, I'll see if there's a quest to get Lucario. There must be. I want Lucario. I want him to be my main lineup. I'm gonna have too many Pokemon that are weak to the same things. And somehow the NPCs know how to exactly take advantage of that. Antics are so cute.
is so far out. I'm heading to the archway up ahead. Besides, how am I supposed to solve this puzzle? Let's say I didn't play Diamond and Pearl. Or what if I need to go back and read the riddle again? Do I just talk to Iswan or Isvan or whatever his name is? Or maybe Professor Laventon? How do I get someone to remind me what the riddle is? It's turning into nighttime. I hope this still works. Maybe it's just because it's raining. Oh, hi, you're an angry Mantine. Please work. Aha! Bio. You heard something. It sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. Okay, so now I have to go to this cave, just like we suspected. Actually, I don't think I need my three... I don't think I need those three Pokemon anymore, right? I hope this is correct. Good thing I caught that overquill, otherwise you have to evolve one, and it's annoying because you gotta get a quillfish, and then like, you gotta make it use a certain attack like 20 times, and then you try to evolve it. It's probably faster if I go from here. I can't fly over the lava pits because I can't land in them either. So when I go in there, there's going to be a Manaphy, but also like three Fions. Oh geez, I'm stuck on something. And you just need to catch the Manaphy, but you can also catch the Fions. But of course, you're going to get double teamed by everything. Or my Typhlosion... Is Manaphy water, I think? Typhlosion is fire, so I, I don't want to start with him. We'll, st we'll start with Toxicroak. I need to figure out how to get Lucario. Maybe that'll be the end of the stream after that, I don't know. I think it's going to take me a day to train. If you're watching this on YouTube though, I'll put it all in one video. Just be neat and clean about it. Down. Oh, ah! Wait, no, this is not where I wanted to go. This is not the cave, this is the... ...path. Caves over here. I wonder how much of a pain this fight's gonna be. Especially if I'm gonna have to fight multiple Pokemon, and that means they're gonna gang up on me. Why did it say a boulder moved in the distance, though? There, this entrance was always open. See, I thought this was one of the lake Pokemon, too, but... Oh, they're so happy. Oh, they've already seen me. Oh, jeez, they're angry, angry. Do I have to fight all four of them at the same time? What if I do this? Oh jeez, you don't want to fight me because you have to do- You have a barrier. Oh jeez! That means I have to do like- I have to throw like mud balls at you or something. Oh jeez, okay that's perfect. Run away everyone- No, I fight you all! Oh, you're only 34. Oh, why do you know psychic moves?! <laughs> Everything in this game is out to get me. Maybe I should just kill three of them and then... It's better than getting beat up on while I throw Pokeballs. What level is Manaphy? I gotta check. 
You're 50. Okay, that's not... That's not too threatening. Okay. I'll just... I'll try to catch both of them, but... Get laid, hang on. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I don't even know if I can hit it with a super effective, because it's gonna... die. It's only 50. He's a weak attack. Okay. Oh, jeez, you know water, I forgot. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, Typhlosion. Oh, you live. Don't kill Typhlosion, please. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, Typhlosion. You suffer so much on my behalf. See, I don't know what to hit it with, because I don't want to kill it. Oh, don't kill Rotom. Please, Rotom is fragile. Let's hit you with a Hex. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. I just need to survive and huck Pokeballs at you. You've taken down- oh, you've taken out a lot of my Pokemon. Oh, jeez. Umbreon's pretty tanky, I think, right? Oh, no, don't Zen Headbug- oh, phew. Catch you. Stay in the ball, please. Please, I beg of you. Oh! That was super effective. Endure Umbreon! Okay, that the little guy can barely do damage to me. Stop! Oh. These multi battles are so bad. Oh, these multi battles are so brutal. Honestly, okay, there's no way they know fire, right? Stay in the ball, please. I beg of you. Oh. Maybe I should use the Ultra Balls. Oh jeez, no, he's buffing himself. If I kill the little dude, will they just respawn? Like, there's probably only one mana feat, but Fionns there must be a bunch, right? I don't want to use any items, I'll just let them kill me. Oh, they get so many turns! Ah! Oh, well, this is great. Does this save my progress? Like, are there not only going to be two of them? Oh, jeez. Well, that was awful. This game, sometimes it's, like, fun, but then sometimes it's, like, extremely unfair. Like, I'll point to Avalug's fight, Heatran's fight, this thing. Why can't I... If, I, if Pokemon can multi-team me, why can't I multi-team them? It's like... Ooh, double battles haven't been invented yet. You'll let enemies just jump you, though. Maybe I should just use the Ultra Balls, honestly. I have to go all the way back. Again, I can't fly anywhere, cause, everywhere because these lava pits get in the way. Even though they're on the ground, I can't fly over them. I really hope that... ...those other Fions are already dead and I can just deal with the two of them. But I don't think the game's gonna be nice to me. And it doesn't seem I'm able to pull them single file. It looks like I have no choice but to fight them all at once. They don't separate from each other far enough. I wonder if I can catch a Fion just by throwing a Pokeball at it. Like, no damage. Just throw a Pokeball at it. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Yes! 
Yes, it's just the two of you. Okay, so I can just... I don't even need the mud balls. From Heatran, I probably could have just thrown my Pokeball. Pokemon all the way. Oh. Can I... Can I not... Can I maybe hit this Fion with attack that doesn't kill it? Catch it first? Don't die. Okay. Don't kill... Don't kill Gallade either, though. Don't kill Gallade. Don't kill Gallade. Don't kill Gallade. Oh, he's gonna kill Gallade. Yeah. All our other friends are dead. Now you... Perish. If I use Swift from Typhlosion, do you think it'll kill the Fion? Actually, let's use Swift from Umbreon. Umbreon's not as strong, right? Even though he's a, lo a higher level. We'll catch the Fion first. Get it out of the way. Oh, oh! Yeah, that thing's definitely getting caught. Oh, gotcha. Eat that! Stop moonblasting me! No. Oh. Okay, I'll pull out my Typhlosion and use Swift, but he's gonna die to a Water Pulse real soon. Okay, at least I'm only fighting one thing now. Okay, goodbye. Oh! I can squeeze in one more. Nope, nope, nope. And if he said no. Nope. I'm afraid to lower it any more, though. If I use Hex, but I make it Agile style, so it does less damage. Oh, 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 oh. That was close. Okay. Get in the ball. Yes. What a pain in the arse. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Want to avenge their friends. Whoa, I just had deja vu. I feel like I've done this before. Well, there's a new quest over there, on the other side of the island. I see you caught our mysterious swimmer. It was Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon, drifting to and fro across the sea since long ago. I was about to say, how did you know its name already? But I guess Pokemon say their names. I mean, more so in the anime than the game, so. At least that's what it says in the Seas Legend. I had a jolly hard time getting hold of this tome. Seems worth it in the end. What are all these comet shards for? Money, give me money. I need to buy max revives. Oh, I'm getting closer. Okay, there's another quest over there. What is that about? Oh, you sell comet shards? I have so many items I could sell. Oh, that's... Oh, I thought I saw a quest here, but it's gone. Oh, it's because Professor Lavington is at both camps, so I can talk to him for either. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, I want to figure out how to catch Lucario. Okay. Google-san, help me. Pokemon Legends... Lucario. Okay. It looks like you'd only get it from evolving Riolu. Oh, there's an Alpha Lucario sometimes in Alabaster Icelands.
Okay, where do I find Riolu? I thought I'd have to do that Riley quest. I wonder if I see him again. He's too cool not to use again. Icebound Falls Hot Springs. What? Snowfall Hot Spring. Where is that? Oh. Let's go looking for Riolu. Again, I don't know if this is going to improve my team, but I do like Lucario. And unlike Scizor, he doesn't have like a severe weakness. Oh, it's here! I don't remember seeing any, but I guess we'll find out. It's random though, he could just be rare. It's like over here. I don't think there's a time of day either. Let's see, I would like a Riolu. I would like Lucario. Oh, this is the hot spring. I've been here, but I didn't see any Lucarios. I don't want to get too close because I'm going to scare stuff away. Maybe he's like on the far side of the lake and I've never seen him because I didn't go far enough. Oh, there's a Snorlax just bathing in there. Oh, look at him. He just flopped over. Let's catch a Snorlax, guys. Oh, no. I didn't want to. Oh, just let me dismount you. Oh, my gosh. I'll do this strat. Look at him. He's just chilling. Catch you off guard while you're sleeping. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Where is Riolu? Is there even one spawned right now? Probably not. If he is, he's probably like on the far side here. No, I don't see it. I guess I'm gonna have to farm for one. I do want one. I thought maybe Riley would just give you one or something, because doesn't he do that in the other game? There's none. I still need to catch Frost Glass and Chansey too. Okay. Okay, Riolu's on my to-do list. And then... Pokemon Legends, Rai. Does he have any more quests? Oh, Steely Lucario, Request Guide. Oh, I already did this, though. we will give you a Grit Rock. Oh, that's the end of the quest. Oh, there's no, like, a continuation to this Lucario quest? That's sad. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. Or that quest. Yeah, I mean, we caught a Snorlax. That's uh, pretty good. I might even need to make a different team to fight Polo. But again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll just include this in the same video. I'll farm up my Pokedex level a little bit, and then I'll also farm up my team, and maybe catch a Lucario, hopefully. Those will be my goals. Can't believe I caught that Snorlax on first try. I can't believe I caught the Lake Spirits on the first Pokeball. Oh, this guy has a... Patrisu. Do you have a quest for me? Again, I wish they would tell me. Captain Zisu has sent me to all sorts of training, but I don't feel like I'm really improving at all. So I came here to train with my partner, Pachirisu. But I simply can't seem to figure out any winning strategy to use with Pachirisu. I've heard tales about you, though, and your strength in battle. Could I ask you to show me how a Pokemon like Pachirisu can truly shine in battle? I want a Pokedex entry. 
I want to see you battle with a single Patrizu. No more and no other Pokemon. Did you show me how it's done? I'll be waiting. I'm supposed to have a battle. I'm supposed to have a party with just a Patrizu and fight something. Okay. Ren. I guess we'll do that later. Okay, so I found the Alpha Lucario. So, you can find Riolus and Lucarios by the hot spring here. I haven't had much luck, and it's annoying having to leave the area and come back. But I came here, Icebound Falls, apparently they're supposed to spawn here sometimes, particularly the Alpha Lucario. He's here, but I don't know if I want to catch him. I kind of want a regular one, and I also want to start with Riolu so I can evolve him, but just for future reference, this is where you can find him. Oh, hey, Machoke! Oh! Hey, he doesn't see me, I guess. I'm just too good at sneaking. How did he not see me? Okay. So... This is the bottom of that... Uh... Icebound Falls, where that Alpha Lucario is. Seems like there's a few Riolus down here. Oh, Machoke, please! Machoke, please, can you get out of the way? Can he see me? Okay, it looks like he's trying to show off his toned butt on me. Oh, come on, Machoke, please. Can he see me? Is he glitched out? I have to take you out. Say bye, Machoke. Yes! Oh, I caught- oh, 48? Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna level up this Riolu. He's gonna be the newest member of my party. Okay, so I came back to the same place where the Riolus were to try to get some Pokedex entries on them. And look, there's a Lucario here. I'm gonna try to catch him, but I think I'll use the other- I'll evolve the Riolu. I want to evolve my own. Unless this one's significantly stronger. 48. Not a big difference. Alright. Looks like there aren't any others around here, so maybe they... Oh, there's one more Riolu. Okay. So it's not that they're a rare spawn, maybe they just few in number. In this area, at least. Oh, Snorunt, what are you trying to tell me? I was, I was out here trying to catch Chanseys, and then suddenly I ran into a cutscene. An old stab bound diary in a traditional style. It's been torn, it's missing the latter half of its pages. February 5th. I was on my way back to the village when a blizzard blew in. I decided to take refuge for the night in one of the mountain huts. I woke at dawn due to some noise. Before me stood a arbed in a fine kimono. Our eyes met, and beauty stole the breath from my breast, yet it's a terrible beauty. Frightened to behold. Is this a frost glass thing? I cut my eyes in terror, waiting for the to move on and leap me in peace. When X I opened my eyes that had disappeared, leaving nothing behind but the Driven's. The rest of the pages are missing. Oh, darn it. Get me back in the cover. There was like th there were like three chances roaming around here, and I failed to get two of them, so I'm just gonna have to try to get this one a few more times. No frost glasses though, I waited till nighttime. On Chansey. Turn around. I can't take any chances. Ah, chances on Chansey. I ain't fall asleep. Oh, finally. Okay, so after I caught that Chansey, like last time I approached those there were like two snow runs out in the open. And that's what caused the cutscene to happen. So I see two of them here. Is this a continuation? 
Oh, it is. They're kind of cute. Just their, their facial expressions. Oh, hi. You're a big one. Oh, I'm just right into straight into a battle. Okay. Can I catch it? Is it an alpha? Oh, well, it's not. Let's try to hit it with something not too strong. I came out here looking for wild frost glasses and I came across one in a cutscene. This must be part of some quest I picked up, right? Oh, there's no choice but to win this battle. Okay, fine. You didn't tell me that earlier. Darn it, I wanted to catch it. Frost glass seems to have dropped something. The bundle of pages without any cover. It looks like they would fit into the gap in the journal you found earlier. You obtained an old journal. The rest of the pages seem to detail the writer's life in a village. It sounds like it might have been in the Alabaster Islands. Oh, this is the quest where you have to find the remains of a village here for that one dude. I know what this is, okay. September 1st. It's hard to believe it's been years now since and I began living together in the lodge. I was flipped through my old journal entries today and happened to be reminded of the I met once. In an odd way, it reminds me of the that I met that day. Was that the ghost of the guy who who held this journal? That's kind of sad because I just killed him. I remind myself that I live in the real world, not in the world of old fairy tales. Surely such things can be true. Or I guess it'd be a female, right? Because it was a female frost glass. January 3rd. Why did I do it? Why did I have to remember that? Why speak of to my dear? I regret so it's too late for regret now. Is gone. I have lost forever, I know it. Disappeared, leaving behind nothing but the driven snow. Oh whoa, why did I speak of it? If only I held my tongue, kept my silence, I wouldn't have been at to know such grief. That was the last entry in the journal. You better return to Jubilee Village and show the journal entry to the merchant Manny. Well, that's sad. Okay, I managed to get my Pokedex up to the next level. Let's check in with Celine. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Yay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I've attained the rank of 6 star on the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use... Ultra Balls. But I've already been using Ultra Balls. Pokemon up to level 80 will also obey your orders reliably. And recipe for Ultra Balls. I've already been using them, though. Ooh. I haven't really been crafting. While we're here, let's also report to... Manny was his name? See, it's not marked, because I don't have it flagged on my journal. Did you find any trace of a settlement that might once have been around the avalanche slopes? I found this depressing journal. Wait, you root around in your satchel, but you can't seem to find the old journal you picked up. <gasps> Spooky! What? You say you found an old journal, but now it's gone. You got it from... a Pokemon? Well, don't leave me in suspense. What in the world did it say? Well, a lot of incomplete sentences. That lines up exactly the stories I heard from my old gran about the village. Which means it's true. My ancestors really did come from a village that once existed there. What kind of stories were these? There was no substance to it. You have no idea how many years I've wondered if I could believe those old tales or not. I really owe you a great deal for looking into this for me and clearing my doubts. See, again, it's like these side quests... 
need more of a conclusion to them because now I want to know more, but it just kind of ends like that. Same with the one with the, the Drifloon. You still have to wonder, why would a Pokemon be carrying an old journal that once belonged to a human? Because it was a ghost! You say it disappeared? I almost wonder if somehow it returned to that Pokemon again. Yeah, I can't believe that journal melted into thin air like it was under a Pokemon spell. I like to think it's now returned to where it belongs. Okay, we can you can believe that. Okay, so I found our friend Bellamy, and so I want to show you this quest because uh, to evolve Riolu into Lucario, you need to have high enough friendship with it. Kind of like Eevee into Espeon and Umbreon and Sylveon. So if I do Bellamy's quest, he actually can tell me the friendship level between me and my Pokemon. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll show me sometime. Let's show him Typhlosion, I guess. How about it, right? Show me how friendly you are with those Pokemon of yours. Sure. Look at my boy. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You're a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of knack for sensing how a compatible person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming and show me your Pokemon. I'd be happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Ooh, thanks for the candy, Bellamy. You're alright, Bellamy. You know, we got off to the wrong foot in episode 1, but... We're good, we're good. Does this person have a quest for me? You're with the Survey Corps, right? Chime chose decided to nest in my house. Do you think you can get help me to get it moved? It's just floating there. It's a nice wind chime. Aw, Chime. It's just hanging out. Come on. It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimecho move in with them. What I'd like you to do is have a look at the homes and make sure that they'd be a good fit for Chimecho. It's not like I can tell what a Chimecho feels, so... First place I'd like you to check is the farmer's house near the fields. Think you can find a nice place for Chimecho to hang there? Oh. Yeah, sure, I could do that. That's actually a reasonable quest, I guess. It's actually market, though, so... So we can... Have an easier time. Which one was it again? So many extra quests. This one. Again, I wish I could tag multiple quests at the same time. And I wish some quests continued to have markers on them even if they weren't active. Oh, it came with me. Chime. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chimecho. Okay. Is it going to be a back and forth? Is it going to send me to like multiple houses? Oh, so it prefers the way the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We get a good breeze. Chime. Well then, how about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. <sighs> You're gonna make me go here too. Also, I was doing some research the other day, and remember how I said that Charm, the character, is... I thought she was based after Agatha because she's a Gengar and looks like Agatha. Like, I think she's supposed to be based after Bertha, who is a Sinnoh Elite Four. Bertha looks kind of like Agatha, and they actually reference the fact that they look similar within the series. So maybe she's based after Bertha, just because they're from Sinnoh, but she's using a Gengar in reference to Agatha. That's what I think. That's why it threw me off so much. Wait, let me investigate. There you go. Yeah, I'm... Oh, what a sad tingle. I'm sure seems lonely as there's nobody around. Oh, that's so sad. In the end, Ida, just let him let him live with you. Come on. 
He seems friendly enough. I mean, all he does is jingle. So it likes lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. Time. How about the training grounds? Oh, you're going to send me everywhere. The security core around, that place is always bustling. Also, you can have rematch with Ingo here. You can also fight uh, Zisu as well if you talk to Ingo. But they're like end game parties. I'll try it later, maybe. Chime, chime! Oh, he's happy! Is that your Chamcho? Why don't you come and train with us? Chi! Oh, he doesn't want to train. He's lazy. Oh, he's facing away from the wall! Seems Chamcho doesn't like to bet. Oh, he's a gentle soul. Oh, hey, Zisu. Don't mind me. Guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like to battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimecho. Chime! Oh, is it telling me not to worry about it? How about next door to me, then? It's hardly different from my place. I just had a chat with my neighbors, and they said they'd be fine with Chimecho hanging around. Then we could have done that from the beginning. Man. Just like two steps away, man. Aw, he's probably lonely without you, Ida. Chime. Uh, pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chime Show, but I think I'd like it to stay with me after all. Yeah, that's the spirit, Ida. You really helped me understand Chime Show a lot better. I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. Chime, Chime. You're gonna live with me from now on, aren't you, Chime Show? Thank you for all your help. I'm glad this village has a survey corp. Ooh, a sunstone. I should do more of these quests. I'm glad I found it myself to keep Chancho around. It was all thanks to your help. Aw, you're welcome, Ida. Why does this guy keep saying Alola? Speaking of which, uh... Professor Labinton, apparently some of his Pokedex entries reference that he might be from the Galar region. Which lends credence to the fact that he might be like Leon's ancestor or something like that. Kind of weird. I also learned that Kamado is the ancestor of the Professor from the Sinnoh games. I can't remember his name. Oh, and that Manaphy is actually from the generation after Sinnoh, which is why I was so confused with Manaphy with Cresselia and the, la the Lake Trio. So that solves some mysteries. Ah, just the person I've been waiting for. My... Kyo Kyo wanted off to go play, but they haven't come back yet. Do you think you could help me find them? Oh, that must be- oh, maybe that's what they call Vulpixes in Alola. Oh, I'm sorry, back in Alola, Vulpix were called Kyo Kyo, you see. Ken Ken. Oh, you're back. Oh, it's an Alolan Vulpix! Hmm? Oh, did you not go to play with the rest? I can't get Alolan Pokemon in this game, right? This is what an Alolan Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them all by myself would take ages. I'm still missing five of them! Oh, I thought we... I thought this would have solved your problem already. You should be able to find my Vulpix playing around Avalanche Slopes. You should find them and tell them to come back. Oh man, so if I find them... Okay. Another quest added to the list. Oh hey look, I thought... <laughs> I saw this and I thought, oh I gotta catch it! And then I was like, oh wait, it's part of the quest. Why even put them in the game if I can't catch them, man? Not fair. I like a Vul Alolan Vulpix. Con. Again, I said I like the ice element, but there aren't that many cool ice Pokemon that I like. But Alolan Vulpix, alright. Oh look, there's another Vulpix. Right over there. How'd you get up here, buddy? How'd he run off? This place is too high up. 
I flew right over this one. They all, they're all pretty close to each other. Two more left. Literally turned around and this one was like right behind me from the other side of the cliff. There we are, the last one. They really all were really close to each other. Guess we'll go report back to Kiaka. Oh, look, they're so cute. Oh, this one's sleeping. And oh, I have one. <laughs> Thanks for helping me search for them. They're all back, safe and sound. Oh, this one seems to have taken a liking to you. What? It's alright with you. Could you take this little one with you? I'm certain it'll help you with your survey work. Yes. I actually get to keep it? An Alolan Pokemon in this game? Wow. We'll be here at the Snowfields camp for a while. I'd love it if you stop by from time to time and show me how Vulpix is doing. Oh wow, you just straight up gave me one. Thanks, Kiaka. You're cool. Thanks, bud. Hey, I've been going around with my Riolu and just getting him to dig up ores and knock down berries off trees just to get his, his happiness up and friendship up. Because I didn't want to risk having him fight and having him get KO'd, because you know how brutal some Pokemon here are. And now he can finally evolve, so now we can get a Lucario with him. Do it. That was a weird warp. Aw, oh, yeah. He looks so cool. Excellent. Okay, I think we just need to train a little bit more. Because all of Volo's Pokemon are like 68, and I'm only like 63. And I also looked at all my type weaknesses, finally, which I haven't really done this entire game. Typhlosion actually has a lot of them. Fire and Ghost is not a good combination. Uh. And yeah, my team is like heavily weighted against like ground type moves and stuff, so we'll see. I might swap out Scizor for Rotom again, but again, we'll we'll see. Okay, I'm short on cash because I keep using Zisu to teach my Pokemon new moves. So I'm gonna take Stardust. I have 42 of them, so I'm gonna sell 41 of them to Choi. See something you want? It's yours for a price. If it's not here, by all means, craft it yourself. You've got more goods on the shelves. Have yourself a browse. You've got more wares you can shake a stick at now. Have yourself a browse. Oh, okay. I thought he was giving me a cutscene. I think it was kind of showing that he had updated his stock. Again, I wonder if we're going to get more continuation of him and his wife, and her father. Okay, I have money again. Good, good. Thanks, Joy. Yeah, I'm using Zisu to teach my Pokemon a bunch of moves to get ready for the fight so I have good coverage. And I just noticed False Swipe is available now at the Move Tutor. That's so useful for catching Pokemon. But too bad I'm at the point where I don't really need it. But I'll learn it anyways. Good to know it's here, though. So, again, this leaves your opponent with 1 HP at least, so it doesn't kill them, which is good for catching them, unless they hit themselves with recoil, which a lot of wild Pokemon seem to like to do. We've also gathered a lot of wisps, and I forgot I have to come back to Vesa and talk to her and she'll give me rewards, but I haven't been doing that. Because it probably has a bunch for me. Thanks again for helping me. You've collected 48 wisps so far. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. That leaves 59 more wisps to find. Wow, I found, like, getting to halfway there without really trying. Oh, oh, great. This is going to go up by so much. Since you now gathered five wisps, here's a little thank you present from me. Oh, you've got ten wisps. Please take this as well. Oh, she goes up by five then. 
she is like Gustav from Shin Megami Tensei 5. 20 wisps? Take this as well. 30 wisps? 40 wisps? It's going up faster and faster. If you find two more, I'll give you a little reward. Aw, okay. Thanks, Bessa. I realized that I have to finish gathering all these wisps so I can get Spiritum, which will I will need for completing my Pokedex, huh? Okay, so third time's the charm. Here's my team now, averaging level 70 or so. I've also changed my moves for a lot of the Pokemon I have, because I have a handy reference I made for myself. I listed his Pokemon and what their types are and what they're weak to, and I also listed my Pokemon and what types they're weak to. And yes, my team is very weighted heavily towards being weak to ground. <laughs> so a lot of Pokemon in this game like to use ground moves and fighting moves, which is unfortunate for me. But I should have good coverage over his Pokemon now, and I brought a bunch of max revives just in case. So I should be okay, but again, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hello, friend. So, we've already seen this cutscene, so we'll just... Blah, 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 blah. Bolo, yes, yes, yes. Oh, shoot, no, I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot. He starts off with Spiritome. I, ne I should have started off with something that was good against Spirit. Oh, no. I already messed up. I already messed up. Okay, so also I learned that, uh, hi Spiritome, that this battle music is reminiscent of Cynthia's battle music, and his team is almost identical to Cynthia's team as well. So that confirms what I said at the very beginning, where I said he reminded me of Cynthia, and that I bet he would be the champion of this game. Okay, I also started using that the action order a bit more. And the nice thing is once you open it, it kind of stays open. And this way I can tell if I use like a speedy move, if it's actually worth using, because then I'll see when my next double turn comes up. Okay, now his the problem with Spiritomb is that it's only weak to fairy, and the only Pokemon I have that knows fairy moves is Gallade, but Gallade is weak against ghost attacks, which he knows. Okay, so this spirit home. Let's see, what's a good matchup for you? And he's he's gonna use a full restore on it, probably. He usually does. Okay, let's bring in something tanky. Let's start with something tanky. Mambreon's actually pretty good. I mean, it's not very strong, but it's good at surviving. Oh yeah, I also learned that for these um mastery moves. I was under the impression that you get move mastery by using the move more over and over again, but that's not the case. You actually learn mastery by if your Pokemon levels up while the move is equipped. But it only does that for moves your Pokemon learns natively. So if you learn a move with the move tutor, you can't master it that way. The only way you can master it is if you bring an item to Zisu called the Seed of Mastery, which I have a few and pay her with it to master it, so I won't be able to use Agile and Strong Style on everything. Okay, anyways, that's enough preamble. So I can... none of these are super effective, but... I mean, Iron Tail's strong, but it has a 75% accuracy. That scares me. Okay, if I do Agile Style Dark Pulse, I don't really seem to get an extra turn, so... Let's just... let's just go for it. Oh wow, that was, even for something not super effective, that did half his HP. That is such a difference because before it would do like a fifth of his HP. Okay, okay, this is going much better already. Maybe I don't even need a cheat sheet. Oh hey, thanks, welcome to the stream. I trained 20 levels up for this. I am no longer under leveled, so I should be good now. Oh, he's gonna... 
Okay. Fine. He's still gonna one-shot me with things that are super effective, but that's okay, because I can do the same to him now. Uh, what do I want to do to you? I want to save my Toxicroak for his Arcanine, so... Mm. Yeah, let's give him a good, good old, give him the good old Gallade. Is this a good idea? Yeah, this is a fine. This is a good idea. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, that made such a difference. I thought, okay, I thought my training would help me survive more by giving me more HP, but it actually just gave me more attack, which should be obvious, but I thought that he, I thought this game was skewed so that wouldn't happen, but okay, goodbye. We're just, this is gonna just be a back and forth between the two of us where we just one-shot each other's Pokemon. Fine, be that way. Um. So I'll kill you with this, and then you're gonna bring out Arcanine to kill my Scizor, and then I'm gonna bring out Toxicroak to kill your Arcanine. That's how this is gonna work. Like, I don't know, usually NPCs aren't this strong in Pokemon games. I mean, part of it's because he has a mixed team, which gym leaders do not, but I mean, usually NPCs aren't this much stronger than you. Okay, he's gonna roast my Scizor. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out Toxicroak. I'm gonna hit you with four times effective this. You're gonna plop out someone else that uses Psychic and four times damage me. Oh, EVs and IVs are combined in this game, so stat growth is exponentially higher. That makes so much more sense why... That makes so much more sense why things are stronger in this game. Uh oh, did I mess up? Oh, never mind, I didn't. Okay. Because Garchomp's weak against ice, so I taught a bunch of my Pokemon Ice Punch. Damage calculation different. Okay, that's good to know that I'm not just crazy and thinking that I'm just bad at Pokemon after not playing it for many generations. Oh, thank you for summoning Kirby. Hey, Kirby, you can watch me... Wipe this guy. Oh yes, his last Pokemon is Roserate, and my last Pokemon is Typhlosion. This is perfect. I did not 100% plan this, but this is this is amazing. Okay, goodbye. Oh, what? You didn't you didn't die from a four times damage Ice Punch? What the heck? Oh man. Yeah, get Frostbite. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You scared me there. Why are you so tanky, Garchomp? Wait, what? Oh, that is rude. That is extremely rude. Freaking Garchomp. What the heck? How come my Scizor dies to a four times damage move and your Garchomp doesn't? Cause it's just because it's a pseudo-legendary. What the heck? You're weak against Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. Oh, that is nothing that my Typhlosion could do. But I, I can probably kill you with this. What's my strongest attack? Should I give him a... Mm, should I give him a... Strong style? Oh no, his Rosary knows ground attack, so it could totally destroy my Typhlosion if I'm not careful. Okay, I just have to hope this kills it. Oh, phew. Oh, phew. Oh no, if his Rosary comes out and ground attacks my Typhlosion and kills it in one shot... Oh, phew. Oh, phew. I got a turn. I got a turn. I got a turn. I got a turn. Okay, let's strong style this thing. If this doesn't kill you, then I am effed. <laughs> yes! No item clear, baby! I spent all my money on these full revives for nothing! Okay, but I still have to fight his... his Giratina afterwards. Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? Because I got the phone, man. I got a phone from Arceus. Network. Excellent Wi-Fi connection through space-time. Why? How? Oh yeah, I also realized all the plates are for Arceus, because I totally forgot that Arceus can change its element. Because Arceus is a normal type, which is so weird to think of God 
as a normal type. And again, no why is normal type even a thing? It's just, it's really weird. Like, you're just normal. Do, you, do I get a heal before Giratina? <laughs> why? How? I devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all my passion and interest to its study. All the time I spent poring over the legends, everything that I've done. You outsider, it's almost as if you were spat out of the space-time rift just to get in my way. Maybe that was Arceus's plan. Don't give me that smile. No, 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 this isn't finished yet. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins, the eldritch presence icing your heart. Ooh, eldritch. Pokemon upping their language. They don't usually describe things like that. Bishan! <laughs> Bishan. Oh, I don't get a heal? Okay, well, fine. Be that way. Wait, are you becoming Giratina? This is this like a... like a primal situation? No, you're not. Okay. Giratina, strike him down! Again, it you never really explained how you got Giratina. You're just kind of like, bruh, I, I, I got Giratina one day and... Oh, it's a Pokemon battle. I thought this was a... I thought this was like a... Like a food throwing battle. Oh great, it's Alpha. Oh great, it's gonna get a- Oh no! Oh no, it gets a turn right off the bat! Oh, oh no! That's so not fair! 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 What? What? It's that guard jump! Oh no. When would I have gotten a chance to actually revive my Pokemon mid-battle there? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to beat him without losing my entire crew? Okay, what if I try again but I start with the Umbreon? Okay, let's try one more time. Blah, 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 blah. I knew it said it. I'd have to fight Giratina after. I didn't think it would go straight into a Pokemon battle. I thought it was like a, like a food throwing capture battle, and I was like, I could do that. Ugh. Well, here we go, round four. Spiritum, well, seeing it walk around like that kind of unsettles me. This is probably gonna go exactly the same. It also sucks that when he changes when he changes Pokemon, I mean, just in this game in general, when the enemy loses their Pokemon, they get to throw in their next one. They get they immediately get a turn, so it, I can't even swap out to get a good type advantage matchup. That did less damage. Oh, I should not have done that. I should have just stuck to Dark Pulse because I get stabbed from it. Same type of attack bonus. Well, I already messed up. Well. Okay, Spirit Home's dead. We're gonna send out Lucario. He's gonna wipe the floor with me. Oh, you used Bullet Punch this time. Oh, <gasps> you. Wait, you get a double turn! Why? This is harder than the Cynthia fight in Diamond Platinum. I can believe that. Oh, gosh. Should I... Ugh. I thought I'd be ready for the stream with all this stuff ready. Okay, um, I don't know if I should go... I kind of want to just do the same strat, but I don't know if that's a good idea. But... Car is weak to fighting, ground, and fire. He knows steel, fighting, and dark. Steel, fighting, dark. It's also really unfortunate 
that Hisui and Typhlosion, his matchup of Fire and Ghost, gives him so many weaknesses. I like him, but it's no wonder he dies in all my fights. He's weak to five different types. Uh, let's just go with the same thing. I thought I could save my Umbreon there, but then he took a double turn and I was like, well, that's great. Then you're gonna come and kill my Gallade. Uh, oh, oh, you're using strong style. Maybe I'll get a double turn somewhere. Ugh. I just can't believe the Garchomp survives a four times damage ice attack. Shake my head. Uh, Togekiss is weak to poison, rock, electric, steel, ice. What did I use last time? I used steel against it. Kario is weak to fighting, ground, and fire. Hojikis knows. And there was a flying attack, a psychic attack, and a fairy attack. Oh no, but if I send out my Lucario and he dies, he's the only one who knows ice attacks, so. Oh no! Toxicroak does, but he's gonna. He's gonna get killed by. something. right away, so. Okay, fine, I'll just do the same thing. Like, Scizor is great because he's only weak to fire. But it's a four times weakness. Oh, I get a double turn. What if I use an agile style? Oh, every move has its own like speed values, and that actually oh that's that's so annoying. Like I this turn order thing I think is interesting, but this only works for like I don't know, double battles, or like four-on-four -four battles, or like RPG party battles, not Pokemon one-on-one -on -one battles, especially when it's not very well explained. I'm trying to figure out... If I use an Agile style, anything, can I get a second turn here? Well, I'll use an Agile style anyways, and then maybe it'll give me a second turn down the line. Goodbye, Scizor. Okay, you're weak to ground. And the only one that can do that is Toxicroak. This is going exactly the same as last time. When a Pokemon gets sent in, the turn order is recalculated. That's when speed matters the most. Ugh. That's only with a death switch in. A regular switch in is different. You still, re yeah. I, if you're still researching this, I mean, I think everyone probably is still figuring this stuff out, huh? Okay. Don't tell me I really have to grind harder just to get this. Oh, the freaking Garchomp! Ugh. Wait, last time he didn't get a chance to use a full restore on his spirit home, right? But this time he did. Because last time he didn't he use it on the Garchomp? Something's different this time. Oh, oh right, no, this happened last time too. Oh no. Oh no, this is horrible. This is a horrible matchup. This is horrible. Um uh... Like, I think I need to change my party, right? Like, it's not... Even if I just leveled the heck out of my characters, like... Their types suck, matched up to his. But I don't want me to remake my team. I also don't want to use legendaries. I guess I could go catch alpha Pokemon, but dang. Garchomp, uh... There's nothing Typhlosion could do against you. I mean... 
Oh, but if I use this and then I die, I'm just gonna be wasting Max Revives and then Giratina's gonna wipe my butt. I might as well save my Max Revives for, like, a legit clear. But if Typhlosion's my only Pokemon left, he's gonna- yeah, he, he's like, extremely weak to Giratina. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this... ...match. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, of course you hit me with the spikes. Why do spikes do direct damage in this gen? Actually, no, not this gen, this game. I mean, it doesn't even matter if I get a double turn here, because then I was thinking if I get a, if I hit it and I don't kill it, then I can use an item. But then, what's the point? Wait, Giratina. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna try one thing. Okay, I have a plan. I have I have a somewhat plan. Okay, you're gonna kill my Typhlosion. Thanks. Oh, you got your EV levels up to nine and ten, and that helps. I can understand that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock you out with an with a Psychic. And then Giratina should not be able to one-shot my Umbreon. Oh, come on. Oh, actually, no. Now, now Giratina can probably knock out my Umbreon. Well, thanks a lot for hitting my Umbreon, Roserade. Thanks a lot. I just need to survive one turn. I can just throw out Max Revives. But then Giratina has a second form too, and I don't... Are neither of those throwing food fight battles? I mean, I haven't done much EV training. I always hate to do that stuff because I'm always so like... Because you know how in Pokemon EV is so like... In past gens, I know now it's different, but before it was all like... Once these are set, you can't change them, and I'd be like, oh no, I have to pick very carefully and do research and check out builds and blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just... Uh, what a pain in the butt. I was so confident going into this, and then... I also read on Bulbapedia, like, technically this is the first fight in the game, or in the series, where you fight an opponent that has eight Pokemon. Six Pokemon plus two Giratinas. And the the most we had before was, like, Geddes, who had seven. Wait, you can max every stat in this one? With EVs? What? It's not like a... It's not like a pool this time? What? Okay, well, bring it on, Giratina. Knock out my Umbreon. Oh, you know Aura Sphere. That is not- <gasps> I survived! <laughs> I survived. Oh, he gets a double turn later, though. I don't know. Is it worth struggling? Is it even- is it worth struggling now? Is it worth throwing out my items and struggling? Because he's got a second form, it doesn't matter if I kill this one. I don't want to waste my items- okay, how about this, how about this? Let's... Let's just see how much damage this does, let's just see how much damage this does. This is a super effective... Same type attack bonus, Dark Pulse. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, 
be fair, but not fantastic. So if I want to last against him, I'll need at least three turns. Okay, thanks, Umbreon. I'm sorry. Well, this this sucks. Okay. Volo, I'm going to use my secret technique you saw the other day called... Run away! Oh, that's not my run button. There we go. Oh, it's not even letting me summon my, my mount anymore. Okay, let's... Bye, Volo. See you later. Smell you later. I'll be back. Gosh darn it. I was so confident going into this. Hey, can I quick travel from here? Yeah. Okay. Let's... <laughs> okay. Okay. So, would you recommend... Should I go... Should I go... Let's assume I only have enough items to EV... Let's say a couple stats at a time. Should I go full... Offense? Or should I do, like, offense and defense? Or should I just go full defense? That's the question. Okay, I have a ton of... Oh, I have a million grit dust. And then, what's the next one? Grit gravel. And then, I have not as many grit pebbles. Are those the only three? Up to three. Between three and five. At least six and no greater than eight. Is there another one? I have been hoarding items all game. Oh, grit rock. Oh yes, I can sort. That is a thing. Okay. Okay, defense or offense, or should I just both? Uh, da -da -da -da. okay. Let's figure this out. What a pain in the butt. Okay, well I could, I could just go all the way with grit dusts. Okay, actually, I need to figure out what moves you use. Defense and speed. Okay, speed is key. Oh, and then I have to do, like, special defense and regular defense, too. Okay. I should have enough to at least do it with the grit dusts. Oh, and HP. Oh. Okay, uh, let's do speed and let's do HP, because if I do defense, I'm gonna have to split it between... Special defense and regular defense. If I do HP, it's just going to go into one pool. Okay, but you already have some innate numbers. Oh, right. Giratina's main moves are special. Like that's the, that's the thing, too, is I feel like this is the only battle in the game, in the entire game, that I'm going to need to do this for. Like... All the other NPC trainers were chumps. Except maybe, maybe Kamado's second fight was a little bit spicy, but I cheese that by using like two max revives. Can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, welcome to the stream. You missed me getting my butt whooped. Twice. Uh, okay. Okay, let's do speed. This one only goes up to three, so... Let's let's do speed on everyone. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Speed. 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 Oops. Clicking too fast. Speed. Speed. Yeah, I'm just snorting all this dust. I have a ton of dust. Yeah, like why why is this one fight just like Difficulty curve up the wazoo. It's like when you it's like when you fight the nobles and everything is fine up until you get to Electrode, and then suddenly it's like, what's going on? And then even Electrode was manageable, and then freaking Avalug is like, Guess I'll die. <laughs> the difficulty curve in this game is definitely something I think they need to sort out. The difficulty curve and the controls. Like the way you throw Pokeballs is so annoying, and the way you traverse the world is also a little bit annoying. Okay, guys, we're gonna snort all this dust. You're gonna like it. Okay, at least you can- at least you can just effort level everything. That's so much easier than older Pokemon games. In older Pokemon games, it's like, you need to balance your build and fight. Like, remember when you had to, like, get effort levels from fighting different things? It was like, you gotta go farm this specific Pokemon to get this effort level. And I'm like, 
No one would ever do that in the course of the normal game. It's all stuff you do post-game. Once you've planned everything out. I have so much of this regular dust, so let's just... I mean, I might as well just do... Oh no, I didn't mean to do... Well, I mean, I might as well. And Typhlosion's gonna die no matter what. He has so many weaknesses. Why does he have five weaknesses? Not only did they make my Typhlosion ugly by making it Hisuian, but they freaking gave him so many weaknesses. It's the same reason why I like Shan Chandelier, but I can't use it. It's, it just dies to everything in other games. I mean, Toxic was also gonna die, because Psychic Attack is like, well, guess you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Feed my Pokemon vitamins and call it a day. Yeah, Dialga and Palkia were so easy. Like, I didn't even have to... Like, I figured it, maybe it was easy just because you had to do a bunch of fights leading up to it, maybe? But that's, that's not even the case, because... The second one you fight, you get a chance to go back and recuperate and come back. So it, uh, it's just, I don't know, this game is so unbalanced. Like, I, I will appreciate all the things that they're trying. Catching Pokemon is much more fun in this game, but the difficulty curve, man, is just like, what is going on here? Someone did not play test this game. Isn't this engaging gameplay, guys, watching me just snort all this dust? Oh, hey, welcome to the stream. Yes, I know. I, when I play Pokemon, I also do not care about EVs and IVs, but I just got my butt whooped. Uh, let's see, including the last stream, four times by this MFR, so I need to... This is my only way I'm gonna win. Oh my god. Computers are such cheaters. In this game. I'm starting to run low on dust. Maybe I should stop maxing everything. Okay, uh, Scizor, you know physical moves. You can do this one. You can do physical. Uh, you do special. Oh, you're already done. Okay. Uh, you you know a little bit of both, but I need attack on you. I'm running out of dust to snort. Okay, I think I'm. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's sniff some gravel now. I don't think I'm gonna use up my pebbles because those are too valuable. Okay, again, let's start with. Let's do the same strat. Let's start with speed. Wanna ha let, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna let's stop at the pe let's stop at the pebble or the gravels, and then we'll see how much of a difference this makes. And if it makes a difference and I'm able to survive, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, then I am gonna be even angrier. Okay, now I have to be specific. Okay, that's fine. I, I plan to do that. Okay, we're gonna focus on speed, okay, and then I'm gonna do HP because HP is good for both types of defense. That didn't even make that much of a difference in HP. He's going up by like a couple HP. That's fine. I guess I was effectively handicapping myself, and the fact that I made it this far without needing any help in the game tells you how the game just suddenly, like, spikes up in difficulty here. Because I've pretty much done everything. I've pretty much done everything in the game. Except for the Pokedex. Still a few I need to catch. Okay. 
Should I snort some pebbles? Maybe I'll give everyone one speed pebble. The speed is so important. When I was younger and I worked at the urgent care center, you know, the place where people go for medical stuff, but it's like, unlike a unlike a walk-in clinic, you, in an urgent care, the order that the patients go in is based on severity. Like, a walk-in clinic, the order is based on who gets there first. But at urgent care, it's severity. And I remember I was working there, and the I was like an aide. I, like, helped them restock the rooms, and I called in patients and stuff. And then... <laughs> I... Doctor comes up to me, and she goes... And th oh, she was like a student doctor too. And she goes, "Hey, do you have any like rubber hosing?" And I'm like, "Uh, we could look for it." So we go digging through the supply closet, and we're like, "Okay, uh, will this do? Will this do? Like, why do you need rubber hosing?" And she's like, "Well, we need something with a little bit of suction." And I'm like, "Okay, can you tell me what purpose? Because that will help me figure out what we need to get for your patient." And she goes, "This kid." <laughs> This kid snorted a pebble up his nose. <laughs> and it was so far up his nose they had to suck it out with this tube. So, so I'm telling you kids, don't snort pebbles, man. Don't snort pebbles like my Pokemon here. Not good for your body. Not good for your body at all. Okay, I think we'll be good. Like, I think my team is is a good matchup for his. It's just unfortunate all we do is take turns KOing each other. If I could just get a couple people to survive... <laughs> you sucked a pinto bean up your nose when you were five. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, this is really funny. Like, I mean, kids just do such dumb things. Ow! I'm telling a story, get out of my way, Electivire. <laughs> I've never seen you run that fast, go away. <laughs> oh man, kids are so dumb sometimes. Okay, let's let's go at this again. Let's <laughs> fifth time's a charm. Like our type matchups are so perfect. Every time I KO one of his Pokemon, he comes out, he immediately KOs one of mine. And then See, if I have a higher speed stat now, maybe I can swap it out before he KOs me immediately. We can stop trading turns or we just KO each other, right? <laughs> That's the only way I can survive this. Okay, Volo, I'm back. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> yada yada, stop talking. Is there like a skip button that I could just skip everything? No? Okay, thanks, Pokemon. Wait, why am I starting- Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I should have started with Umbreon. I should have started with Umbreon. I should have started with Umbreon. I have time, though. I can switch. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Wow, look at those extra turns I already get. Wow, it's almost like speed makes a difference. It almost means, like, using the mechanics of this game is <laughs> actually good. Okay. You're going down, Spiritome. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't you sleep me. I'm so glad sleep is not sleep in this game. Okay, don't fall asleep, Umbreon. Oh, my goodness, Umbreon. Oh, Umbreon! Seriously? I'm gonna get screwed over this time just because he slept me on the first turn? Oh, my God. Yes, wake up. Okay, he's swapping in. Oh my gosh, he's still got a turn. Oh my gosh, he bulked up. Of all things he had to do, he bulked up. This could be bad. This actually could be bad. It's like he it's like he realized I was gonna come in with a different strategy and he changed his strategy. That's so not fair. Ow! Oh, look at the double turn I have coming up. Come on. Drain Punch, give me a ton of HP back, please. Yes. Oh, that wasn't very much. Oh, you. You. 
Oh, I got a double turn now. Okay, okay. You're going down, Umbre- or Lucario. <laughs> I'm getting my Pokemon confused. You're going down. You're going down. This is what I think of your Lucario. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I, I better get a- I better get a- a, a, a turn in here. Oh my gosh, he's still got a turn! Oh, he survived! Wait, what the heck?! That is- that is just... That- that is just- that- that is just... That's just great. That is just great. I can't believe this is happening to me. Okay, I should get a double turn here. If I'm really lucky, his Arcanine will not have a turn first. And then I can save my Scizor. Because then Scizor will have great coverage against Giratina. Okay, don't- don't I get a turn. Don't- oh my gosh, he got a turn! Oh no! Again, my Scizor can't survive a four times damage fire move, but his freaking Garchomp. Uh, what did I use against Arcanine? Oh yeah, Toxicroak. This is... Okay, goodbye Arcanine. Oh, you. Oh, okay, this is not helping. Why are you so fast? Oh, I survived! I survived! I survived! Oh! Can't believe this is happening to me. Nothing changed! <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Actually... No, that, that's not gonna help. Will this help? The, the only difference is that my Umbreon's still alive. Oh, I got a double turn, okay. Wait, could I use- could I abuse this? Actually, I don't know if Umbreon can kill him in one turn. I'm gonna assume... Yes? Maybe I should use this turn for a revive? I don't know if it's even worth it though, I'm probably gonna still die to freaking Giratina. Like, Scizor- okay, let's- let's try this. I don't know if this is gonna kill it. Come on! Oh, yes! Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Alright, I forgot you were still drowsy, Umbreon. Yeah, wakey, wakey. Oh, great. Well, that was not effective. Okay. Ah, you're stuck on using Petal Dance. Oh, great, you're gonna use it twice. You killed my Umbreon! You killed my Umbreon! Okay, if you're fixated on using Petal Dance though, that means you're not going to use spikes on my Typhlosion. This is... awful. Oh, look at the double turn! Look at that double turn! Okay, who's good against Giratina? Probably Umbreon. I just- every time I get a double turn, I'm gonna sneak in a revive. Oh, fixation- fixated is a status, it doesn't mean he'll spam it. Okay, I think I can still kill it with a single flamethrower, though. Okay. No, I don't get a checkpoint between these fights, that's why I've been getting my butt whooped. Okay. Bring it on, blah blah blah. Oh, look at those level ups. People actually 
survived. I have three living Pokemon. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. Okay. Bring it on, Giratina. You're gonna kill my Typhlosion immediately because my Typhlosion's ghost type. So that's fine. Umbreon and Scizor should be able to take you down, I think. They're both pretty tanky, and I don't think they're weak to any of the moves that you use. I did look up his Pokemon's team and their attacks beforehand because I was very angry at him. Why is the difficulty of this fight so much higher than everything else in this game? This is so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, Giratina, bring it on. You loser. Okay, yeah, bring it on, kill my Typhlosion like you usually do. Oh, I'm sending out my Scizor first! I'm sending out my Scizor first! Guys, look, I'm sending out my Scizor first! I don't know how that happened, but I'm sending out my Scizor first. I guess it's because I still thought I was using Gallade first, and Scizor is after Gallade. That did so much damage, though. What the heck? Oh, if I use Agile Style, I can get another turn. Okay, this is good. I don't have anything super effective against you, but that's okay. okay this one's not very effective. This is effective. No effect. Okay, I don't have a choice. Okay, let's use Iron Head. Actually, if I use... Well, if I use a double here, I get a... An extra turn there. Okay, well, that's worth it. Okay, I think I have a... I think I have a... I think I have a chance. All that did, like, nothing. <laughs> but I have... Actually, okay... Typhlosion, you're kind of useless in this fight, because you're weak to Ghost. Toxicroak, you're weak to Flying, Ground, and Psychic. That's not really useful either. You're weak to Flying, Ghost, and Fairy. Well, that's not good. You're weak to Fighting, Ground, and Fire. Ugh. Um, actually, I don't even... I didn't write down Giratina's attacks. Uh, I need to... I, I am not risking anything. He knows a fighting attack, a dragon attack, a ground attack, and a ghost attack. Wow, that is like perfect coverage against my team. That's fantastic. Well, Toxic Croak's weak to ground, so he's useless. And... Delayed. is weak to ghost, so that's a no-go. Lucario, you're weak to ground, so that's a no-go. Wow, these are like... Only Scizor and Umbreon have a chance against this thing. Oh no, no! Umbreon is weak to fighting, and it knows Aura Sphere. Well, that's fantastic. But if Scizor gets hit by a second attack, he's dead. Oh. Oh, this is bad. What if I... I should have brought more potions. I, I, I have also been skimping on potions. I have more in my item box, but I didn't bring them. I've been relying too much on the revives. I just need you to survive one turn, Scizor. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Oh, you're obscured, that's fantastic. I love being obscured. Oh, if I get... If I do Agile Style. Oh no, but if I get a double turn here, he gets a double turn there. That's not good. Okay, I... Uh, uh, uh. We're just gonna whittle you down. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh gosh. Oh wow, that's, well, that's great, that's great. I think this is a losing battle already. After I ate all my pebbles, and this is, this is still what I get. Okay, but Umbreon, even though you're weak to Aura Sphere, you, you do have super effective attacks against him. So that might be good. Let's use Dark Pulse, because you get same type attack bonus from that. Oh yeah, he- I forgot! Enemies have PP too! So he can run out of it! Oh, you're a genius! Thank you, yes! 
Oh, you're absolutely right. I forgot that enemies are have PP as well. I forgot their PP. I can't believe Umbreon gets hit by a super effective move and it doesn't even do half his HP. And meanwhile, Scizor gets hit by a normal effective move and it takes up like more than half of his HP. Like, thanks, Scizor. Okay, Umbreon, you're my go-to pal. I'm gonna also run out of PP though. Oh, actually, maybe not. Okay. Oh, oh no. Ah! Oh no! Okay, Typhlosion, you're here to perform your single job. Letting me revive my Umbreon. He's gonna die right here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Typhlosion. Ah! See, the worst part is if I lose, I still used up my items. <laughs> okay, 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 we good, we good, we good. All's good in the neighborhood. I don't want to use up my... See, Agile's good here, but then... Okay, let's just... Umbreon! I know, th I know that I complained about the, the, f the throwing food fight battles, but honestly, I would take that right now. Ah, that did even more damage than before! Wait, was that half- wait. That's not half my HP, is it? But any- any time now, he could decide that he likes to do- Any second now, he could be like, Actually, I want to use an agile move and then screw my entire strategy over. I need- I need someone on the back line. Please don't kill him, please don't kill him, please don't kill it, please don't kill it. Oh, 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 oh. I only have one more hyper potion left. I only have potions and super potions. I am so screwed. Oh, his attack and defense is swapped. Okay, let's just nail him with everything we got. Oh, yes! That did so much extra damage! Okay, you can you can have my Umbreon, I guess. Just please don't kill my Scizor in one hit. That's that's all I ask of you, Giratina. Please don't kill my Scizor in one hit. Oh, okay, good. Oh, he gets a double turn coming up. This is awful. This is all kinds of awful. I'm down to my last max revive. That hurts so bad! And he's obscured. If I'm really unlucky, he's gonna... I'm gonna miss an attack. Okay, I can still... Scizor can deal a little bit of... A teensy tiny bit of damage. Can I... Can I get away with a double turn here? No. Okay, I have to use these two. Okay. Scizor, do, do, do a little bit of damage before you get taken out, please. Bring him down to half. Ooh, that was good. Okay, if Umbreon comes out and hits him with just one Dark Pulse... If Umbreon comes out and hits him with just one Dark Pulse, I think I can do this. As long as it doesn't miss. Wait, no, Dark Pulse doesn't miss, right? Oh, 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 oh. The attack never misses. You are going down, Giratina. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> That was harder than freaking Demi Fiend from Shin Megami Tensei 5, I swear to god. Do you know how much preparation I had to do for Demi Fiend? I feel like I had to do more preparation for this. Oh, oh yeah, you shut up, Giratina. <laughs> Turning tail and running from this puny human, pathetic. Yeah. yeah, who would run from a human? Who would turn tail and run away from a human? I mean, it's not like I- it's not like I'd ever do that. It's not like I've totally done that to you four times, Volo. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That took an hour? I've been streaming for an hour? <laughs> My god. I was gonna compile all this into one video, I'm like... 
Add on an extra hour to it. Oh, this is fantastic. I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and the deity of time mad so you could drag the creator out from hiding. How did you do that, Volo? You never explained it. You just kind of said that you did. How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if any heart within you, then tell me. Does he get a redemption? I kind of hope he doesn't, but all Pokemon people seem to get redemptions. Plus, he has to pass on his genes so he can make Cynthia, I guess. Blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it, then, that you find so lacking in me? Um, Volo, first of all, first of all, your fashion sense. Two, you're crazy. Three, your fashion sense. Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? Yeah, who would ever want to remake Diamond and Pearl? Who would want to remake Diamond and Pearl? <laughs> I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. What if that's the lore behind Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Is that that's an alternate timeline where Volo recreated it? Answer me then, Kiro. Do you have some dream that propels you as I've had? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Wait, you like those traits of his? You like him being crazy and you like his awful fashion sense? Well, I'm not going to judge you, but... So you do. Doubtless that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I just want to go home, man. I haven't seen my family and my friends for like the past couple months. I've been stuck in the past. We don't even have Wi-Fi here. I'm the great wielder of Pokemon and you... You battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. That makes zero sense. You literally had eight Pokemon, and I had six. I just had a million max revive. Okay, I did not have a million. I only had like, what, seven max revives. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. No, you just need to restock. Wait, you're the- you're a merchant. You're the one who sold me those max revives. Shouldn't you have had some? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kiro, just make the enemy more OP than he already was. Here, take this. Take the plate that started me on this path, the plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. Oh, the spooky plate. Oh, the spooky plate. The spooky plate. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates said to exist in this land of history. Isn't there one more that I'm missing? I think Arceus himself gives me one, doesn't he? You got the Ocarina of Time! The Celestica flute transformed into the spiky as heck flute. So that, that's it. The Azure flute, huh. It comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you, of all people. You had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Ugh, I have no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it. Okay, I guess he doesn't get redeemed. He just wanders the land as a crazy dude. No matter how many years, no matter how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. I actually don't know anything about Cynthia. Isn't Cynthia, like, nice? Isn't Cynthia, like, nice? Or is she also, like, megalomaniacal, powerful, power-hungry like Volo? I thought she was nice. Okay, bye Volo. I'm just gonna make a sad pouty face as you leave. Yeah, she's nice, right? So, I guess Volo doesn't get any closure, right? He just kind of says he's gonna wander off and do all this stuff and take a million years and his ancestor becomes a nice champion. That, okay, makes so much sense. Well, everyone's dead. I mean, I know there's no- f I don't think there's a fight coming up, but I feel like I should heal everyone before I go do this. It would just give me some peace of mind. I'll make the trek for like the millionth time. Oh, she gets- she gets to finally meet Arceus. Interesting. Isn't Arceus not actually introduced in Gen 4? He's introduced in Gen 5. 
Which is kind of weird to think that he's the focus of this game. Again, Pokemon Generations and the order that they release Pokemon doesn't always make sense lore-wise. Hey, Professor. Bye, Professor. Yeah, I know. I have to catch all the Pokemon to actually catch Arceus, which will be my next goal. I also have to catch Giratina. I know there's a quest to get Giratina. Oh, Arceus was introduced in Gen 4? Oh. He, probably, he wasn't introduced until, like, Platinum then, right? Ah! <laughs> oh, I can't even go to- I can't even enter the summit at all. Cool. Very cool game. Very cool. Let's see what it tells me. Would you like to play the Azure Flute? Sure. You decide to play the Azure Flute. Wow, when did I learn to play that? <laughs> oh, you slow? I look so sad! But no one came... This can't be! Oh, hey, I got, I got a text message from Arceus! What's up, man? I'm trying to reach you! Oh, okay, seek out all Pokemon. I totally forgot you told me that at the beginning. Okay, okay, Arceus. Be that way, I guess. Uh, where's the exit again? Oh, I forgot, I have results to tell you, Professor. You're not even gonna acknowledge that I just saved the world that I met frickin' Giratina, Professor. Come on, Professor. Oh good, there is a cutscene. Kiro, hey Kiro. Have you heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands, and then just vanished without a trace. Giratina. Hero, my boy, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? Well, I totally kicked his butt the first time I saw him, and he ran away crying, and then I got a text message from my buddy, God, and he said he couldn't meet me right now, so I'm running an errand to find his arch nemesis, and then I'll be back once I gather all of his creations. In that case, the shadow in the Cobalt Coastlands may be none other than Giratina. Pokemon said to have once been banished to the reverse side of our world. Oh yeah! I remember Pokemon Platinum, I actually, at the time, I kind of wanted to get it because it had the reverse world, which is kind of cool. But again, I ended up not getting it because I fell out of Pokemon. I do believe this calls for a survey. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. Do I have an idea of where to look? <laughs> we shall find out. Stay tuned! Oh, you saw a meme where someone edited them doing a Google search on their Twitter phone, or on their phone, going, What to do when stranded in the distant past? And there's a text message pop-up from Arceus. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Arceus. Very cool. Hey, do I have an idea of where I'm going? Arc phone, please, s'il vous plaît. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I hate how you can only flag one request at a time, and you can't flag a mission at the same time as a request. Like, it's so backwards. 
Oh, there's literally no clue. I mean, it must be it must be this cave, right? This this empty cave that we saw. It has to be, right? I don't want to go there if it's not there. But it has to be. Google san. Uh Pokemon Legends. Where Giratina at? Oh yeah, it's totally in that cave. Good. Well, Umbreon is my main man against him. Actually, I should be smart and restock some items. Honestly, I can't see myself ever needing to use max potions and max revives much anymore. Considering how many... Like, there aren't that many tough enemies left. Actually, there aren't. Unless I go fight, like, at the training grounds, maybe. Okay, let's go for a nice leisurely trot across the land. So, for the Pokemon I'm missing, it's kind of annoying because, one, I have to find all the Wisps to get Spirit Home. That's going to be the most annoying one. I found about half of them, just naturally. And then, thank god, I don't think- you don't need to find all the unknown, which is a blessing. And you also don't need to finish the research on all the Pokemon, which is a double blessing. But, yeah, I need to find all the Wisps. I need to evolve some Pokemon that I have not evolved. What's annoying is going to be the ones that evolve- that need items to evolve. And I, I have a bunch of items from Space Time Rifts, but I don't think I have everything I need for every one. And then the other thing that it's going to be annoying is that some Pokemon in this game can only be found in Space Time Rifts. And the space-time rifts are random, so I'm gonna need to just wander around until they spawn. Luckily, I have a couple of them, like Shield On, but there are a few, like Magnemite, for example, that I need to... that I need to get just from space-time rifts. But I'm strong enough I should be able to survive against all the things coming at me in there now. I still can't believe I ate all those pebbles and I still got outspeeded by him constantly. It was such a BS. Oh, I, you know, oh, I should have checked if I have enough balls. 15 balls is enough, right? 15 balls should be plenty. Hello, old friend. Well, you're still in your origin form. Excellent, you'll take extra damage. Uh, this is not gonna work. Yeah, I figured as much. Hello, Giratina. Fancy seeing you here. How have you been, buddy? Are you hungry? He go low, whoa, 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 he says. You remember my friend Umbreon? He kicked your butt, remember? Okay, that's already putting him in the yellow. Can I whittle him down anymore? This. This shouldn't kill him. Okay. I think I can use one more Psychic, but I don't think I will. Actually, Umbreon's gonna die. I might as well. Don't kill him. Yes! Sorry, Umbreon. Remember my pal, Scizor? Come on, one shot. Ah. Uh.
I mean, that's got a pretty cool animation, I have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You found something shiny where Giratina was. You obtained a Grisius core. Oh, that make, makes some change for him. Cool. Well, that's done with. That's nice. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. Did you recognize him? Was he still dressed funny, or was he wearing his normal clothes? He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Hisui after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to Pokemon. Well, that was an interesting change of heart. <laughs> okay, Volo, if you say so. What if Professor Laventon's lying to us? What if he's the mastermind? He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. Oh boy, I got back a rock. <laughs> Adds my collection. Ooh. Why do I feel like I actually didn't win? <laughs> Yay. Let's go back to the village. Oh, so one thing I want to try that I didn't get the chance to do before was I always passed by the photo studio and never used it. I didn't know that you could actually do some fun stuff here. Oh, the guy just went in without me, okay. Like, a lot of people on Twitter have been posting, like, here's my team, and, and stuff like that, too, and I'm like, haven't really done that. Oh, this looks like a, like a Final Fantasy XIV house that's set up for a photo booth. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokémon. Why not have your photo taken? Okay, let's see how annoying these controls can be. Or it could be good. Oh! There isn't, like, a special thing for it, I just do the usual... Wait, what is this? Oh. I can't turn- I can't turn my camera around, so I can't see. Oh. Like, why does it... Why does it show what I look like from the side? Why can't I see what the expression- what the pose is from the front? Oh, you can- What? But, but how do I, like... How do I use these? Oh! Oh, these, this command is not for the board. What are the boards for? Oh, the, it's for bouncing your Pokeballs off of? What are these panels for? <laughs> okay, that's, that's a really weird and unintuitive. Okay, let's look. <laughs> Praise the sun! Hero pose. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ingo's pose. Oh, <laughs> Ingo's pose. Oh boy, the bandit pose. There's so many. Hey, look, I spawned a bench. Oh, this is just the next menu.
Yeah, these all these all look weird without a good expression. I feel like the troubled face is the one he makes the most in the in the story. Vacant. Well, smile. Let's do a pose. I want a pose that has the Pokeball in my hand. Eh, at the ready is okay. This one's okay too. I have to take my Pokemon out first though, right? Wait, what? How do I take out my Pokemon? I'm pressing the button for throwing my Pokeballs and... Oh, prepare a Pokemon. Wait, change a screen. Oh, they're just the color. Is there, like, backdrop? Ew. <laughs> Just colors and the Galaxy Team logo. Uh, be nice if there was like an actual, like backdrop. Filter. There's only two filters. Wait, what changed? What's nostalgic about this filter? Is it just less bright? I can't I can't tell the difference. Oh, you get you add more by doing requests? Oh, well, that would have been nice for me to do earlier. Wait, I don't get to choose where the Pokemon goes, he just puts it- Oh, there's only one at a time? I can only do one Pokemon at a time? I thought you could do, like, whole team photos. Unless I have to unlock that. I mean... My favorite Pokemon is Greninja. Toxicroak is kind of my stand-in for Greninja. I don't know if I would actually use a Toxicroak on my dream team, just because there's four times weakness to Psychic. <laughs> I, I didn't really like Toxicroak going into this game that much, but I think I've grown on him. Okay, Gallade and Lucario are also two of my favorites. Typhlosion, I like normal Typhlosion, not so much Hisuian. But, uh... I mean, I like this particular one just because he's been with me through thick and thin, but I don't like <laughs> Hisuian Typhlosion. And Scizor and Umbreon are cool, but they're not my top six. They'd probably be my top ten. But the rest of my Pokemon I like are not in this game. I feel like I should pose with Typhlosion though, just because he's my starter. Oh, direct your Pokemon, okay. Look fierce. Look happy. Well, he's kind of dopey but cute. Go to sleep. Act dizzy. Oh, pretend to faint. Oh no. Normal. Smiling. No, smiling. Well, that's pretty good. Actually, I think at the ready looks better because he's standing straight up, so I need to also stand straight up. Oh. 
I can't even move the camera here. Like, the camera just defaults to, like, this distance and depending on which Pokemon you're at. I wish there was more control. I wish I could angle it around and stuff. I mean, this is cool. This is nice, but... Okay, so there, there I am. Me and my starter, boy. Is there a way you could do more than one Pokemon? Or is this... I'm, I'm guessing I have to unlock it, right? There has to be. I've seen people with pictures of them. Lucario, my newest addition to my team. Yeah, I can deploy them in the field. It's just... Can't deploy them here. Is there no way to do that here? That's kind of sad. Okay, I'm glad I tried this out at least. Even if it was the last thing I did in the game. It never occurred to me until recently to actually, like, summon more than one of them at the time because... I mean, until I saw people actually doing it on Twitter for pictures. They can like interact with each other. Wow, Toxical, you're bigger than I thought. Look, they all talk to each other and hang out. Don't punch him, Lucario. Rude. It's You can't really arrange them. They just kind of plop out. Umbreon is so tiny, but he's like the tankiest one. Hey guys, the gang's all here. Oh, what are you doing, Toxic Oak? That's cute. Wait. Talk to me! There you go, there you go. Oh, what a gentleman. No, I was talking to Scizor, Lucario. Toxic Oak's just sleeping. Zizor, talk to me! It's not even giving me the option to talk to them now. Oh, there we go. Oh, it, it's like a collective speak instead of an individual speak. Okay, look at my cute team. Oh, there's other emotes? Other emotes I can do besides what? How do I do that? I'm pressing A, B, X, and Y. X just changes my items in my hand. Y makes me roll. Oh, talk to them and press it. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why sometimes I can't press speak, because I'm still in talking mode. Oh, this is cute. It's not very intuitive, but it's cute. So I'm shaking my head no. Oh yeah, I'm rallying them. Nodding my head. Nodding my head doesn't do anything, okay. Oh, I'm like smiling at them, okay. That's cute, okay. Nice job, guys. You deal with me. Letting you guys get KO'd. I'm talking to you, Toxic Crow. Wake up. You guys deal with me <laughs> letting you get KO'd over and over and over again. So there's my team, guys. There's These are my six heroes. All right. <laughs> I wish I could just direct them all to like look at the screen and wave or something like that. That's unfortunate. I like how they continue to interact though. Yeah, I think I got I gotta move far enough away because you guys are making too much noise. <laughs> okay, call everyone back. Okay. That was cute. Alright, alright. Alright, and with that we're done the majority of the post-game stuff for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and thank you for enduring watching me do that last battle so many times. Now there's one thing left to do, and that is to catch Arceus. To meet Arceus, you need to catch every single Pokemon available in this game at least once, and 
it doesn't count like the char- the Pokemon that you get from DLC, for example, like Darkrai and Shaman, who you get if you have like a Sword and Shield or a Sun and Moon save file. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't have those games. But I do need to finish catching all the Wisps so I can get Spiritomb. I need to catch a whole bunch of extra Eevees to get all the evolutions. I need to evolve some other Pokemon that I haven't evolved. I need to get like special evolution items to evolve some of the ones I haven't evolved. So it's going to take a little bit of time before the next video. And then I'll post that one. Apparently the battle with Arceus is quite difficult. So we'll see how it is. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me uh, on this game. I think, again, I think it brings a lot of novel new things to the Pokemon series that I'd like to see it continue forward. But there's also some things they need to adjust, like the difficulty curve, for example. The controls, like the way you throw Pokeballs, is a little annoying. The travel around the map could also be better with the way the mount Pokemon work, especially the flying. But I really hope that they take some of these things and they improve upon them and add to future games going forward, instead of just making a one-off and not using these things again, or instead of just using them again but not improving them, thinking that it's okay. But... Again, I appreciate the Pokemons trying new things. It's been a long time since they've really done that. So good on them. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.